This is Michelle and I, and this is the astrological update for Sagittarius. The week starting the 30th of July. Now this week there are some massive grand trines in air and also a full moon. Now the full moon is also an emotionally peak experience where, where we almost burst with unconscious knowledge. You may have a dream, you may have an emotion come up out of the blue. And for you, it's in your third house of communication. It's almost like you can't hold back talking about your ideas this week and you're really excited about something. Just be a little bit cautious not to get carried away because these two grand trines are making you plugged in to something that almost feels unstoppable. Now for you, we have the grand trine with Venus in the seventh house of relationships. So you're feeling very positive and very on side when it comes to lovers this week. And Mars is in the 11th. So you're passionate about your friendships and it's trining the moon in the third. Friends, lovers and people you're, you're communicating with, you might discuss going having a partnership, a business partnership, you may have different business ideas. You may be inspired to take a new sort of philosophical route. You could even decide to set up a group yourself or communicate and network in some way that touches many people's lives. Grand trines for me are all about the bigger picture. And for you, it's about taking your ideas and pushing them forward. However, Due to something else happening this week, I think it's probably best for you to really release the ideas, but think before you act. Don't just necessarily do it all at once, or you could find that you've got overexcited before you've plotted exactly where you want to take those ideas. Also, you're being very unconditionally loving to everybody you come across. While this is fabulous news, you need to make sure that before you commit yourself to a partnership, that you, you see all sides of, of the person. You know, great, unconditionally love them, but don't necessarily give them 50% of your fortune. Now, we also have Neptune, Chiron and the Moon conjunct in the fourth house of your sense of security. So you're really examining your home and your close ties and, and you're becoming very kind of sentimental about the people in your life. If there is any vulnerability around your family or your home, you are feeling it on a very deep level. Chiron is the wounded healer. So Chiron may be sort of allowing you to feel your vulnerability or your pain and Neptune is sort of glossing it over with a pink light, but also could be trying to make, make you go down the road of illusion. So be very clear before you make any decisions about your home or your family that you're making the right decisions. In fact, just allow enlightenment to come fully through before you make a decision but everything there's some fantastic ideas to come out this week some fantastic connections and a great deal of healing take care and i'll speak to you soon